The Egyptian pyramids were built of reagglomerated limestone, a type of limestone concrete. I am a member of the International Association of Egyptologists and I presented this theory since 1979 in the Second Congress of Egyptology in Grenoble, which was followed in Toronto in 1982, then in Cairo in 1988, and in Grenoble in 2004. What I am claiming is that the stones of the pyramids are not carved but re-agglomerated. This is proven by science, experimentation, religion and hieroglyphic texts. In order to present uh, the theory in a very short way, we have a small video that will show uh, the different aspects of uh, the system. Ari Kat, the proven fact on how the pyramids were built. At last, a logical explanation of how the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids. An astounding discovery reveals they were not built by 200,000 workers or by aliens from outer space. According to archaeologists, the stones were all carved from nearby quarries, hauled on sledges, hoisted on huge ramps and set in place by armies of workers. To lift a 30-ton block off the ground would require the force of at least 1,200 men. They would have built a ramp, whether circular or straight, over one kilometer long that required more material than the pyramid itself. And they ended up with some sort of traffic jam until each block was placed in its position. However, Recent scientific studies discovered the presence of artificial elements in pyramid stones. They found traces of a chemical reaction, more precisely, a geosynthesis, namely, the manufacture of minerals with chemistry. Thus, Egyptians built the pyramids using man-made stone, which looked exactly the same as natural rocks. Limestone blocks were cast in place. French scientist Professor Joseph Davidovitz, chemist, geopolymers and ancient cement expert, solved the enigma. He sensed the truth when he found air bubbles and fibers trapped inside Great Pyramid's limestone. He discovered fossil shells in disarray, jumbled, not in normal sedimentary horizontal layers. He confirmed the existence of the lost technology in the Urtisan steel currently found in the Louvre Museum. And also with enigmatic stone vessels found in the labyrinth under the Saqqara Pyramid. The mystery was finally solved when he decoded hieroglyphs found in an ancient steel at Sehel Island near Aswan in the midst of the River Nile. It contains the chemical formula used by High Priest Imhotep to make the stones of the first pyramid in history, the Step Pyramid at Saqqara. Using the same formula and the same Arikat stone technology, Professor Davidovitz replicated several artificial limestone blocks in his laboratory at Saint-Quentin, near Paris. They looked exactly the same as natural limestone. The great Imhotep, the alchemist and master architect of Pharaoh Djoser, made the stone blocks and built the first pyramid at Saqqara. He invented the Arikat stone technology, and here's how. Nearby the pyramids, pools were dug in the soft limestone along the Nile, forming basins for producing limestone concrete. Workers began disaggregating the crumbly rock with water coming from the river Nile. They flooded the canals to form a mud with clay. Next, sodium carbonate, called natron salt, was poured in. This salt is a very reactive substance. It is mixed with ash 
rich in calcium oxide from burnt palm trees. When added to water, the resulting mixture forms caustic soda, which will trigger off a powerful chemical reaction. Then, workers added more limestone rubble and another salt, magnesium chloride, named carnalite, to lower the pH. After evaporation of water, the concrete is now ready. The limestone paste is taken in buckets, then carried to the pyramids. Archaeological digs discovered that only 2,500 people were working on site. In fact, the reagglomerated stone theory doesn't need more workforce. By means of wooden ramps and the tiers already set, men carried each bucket and poured its content into molds. Then, limestone concrete is compacted and left to harden. Wooden molds had been prepared. These molds had been smeared with oil to ease the release of the block once hardened. The mixture was rammed into the molds as in the making of the packed earth called pise, becoming a strong and dense reagglomerated limestone. The workers stood inside the mold, pounding the wet material with a wooden pestle, packing it against a contiguous block already made, thus producing a close fit. That's how Imhotep's successors made millions of blocks for Cheops Pyramid, one of the seventh wonder of the ancient world. The Arikat technology uncovers a logical, simple and proven solution to the mystery that has puzzled man for centuries. Shading light on how the pyramids were really built. <laughs>